everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and go through the Option Hacker inside of Thinkorswim. Uh, so this is again one of the scanning features and tabs that you have. Again, it kind of is confusing because it's got a lot of the stuff that the Stock Hacker has. Uh, but again, we'll kind of go over it in detail here so you can see how to use it. Again, we're on the live platform here inside Thinkorswim, which is my platform. And we're going to be going over the um, options hacker, which is embedded in the main scan tab. Now, again, in the last video, we went over the stock hacker. In this case, it's definitely tagged as the option hacker inside of here. Now, the reality is, is that there's not too much difference between the stock hacker and the options hacker. I think what they wanted to do is just mainly have another tab that's just for options. I was kind of pre-set up for that. Either one ultimately will work. In this case, um, just to give you guys another example of how you can do stuff inside of the scanning capabilities here, um, I basically set up everything to, again, do all optionable, intersect with our pre-screen watch list that we use, and I've added a bunch of different option filters here so you can see you know, maybe what a scan might look like. Um, in this case, I've said, okay, give me a delta range at first between negative 20 on any option contracts and positive 20. Now, why this range? Because one, that's where most option contracts are going to live that we're going to end up trading. So anywhere between negative 20 and positive 20 delta, that's about a 70% chance of success if you trade options on both ends um, and somewhere in that range, like you know negative 15, positive 15 deltas, that ends up being about 70% chance of success. So that's why we end up doing you know some some range in between there. And you can see here that obviously most of the options that are traded are at the money, and that's why you get these big spikes here for you know probably negative 40 to or um, maybe like negative uh, 40 to positive 40 as far as delta goes. Um, another thing that we have added in here is we said we're going to search just between 30 and 60 days to expiration. Again, that's just a sweet spot range that we go into, and just a, you know something that we can use mechanically here for this video. We also can search by volume. So okay, make sure that any of those contracts that are within there have at least 500 uh, contracts traded today in volume. So so 500 to as many as possible. And then same thing with open interest, at least a thousand contracts of open interest. So we know not only is the security incredibly liquid today, but also has good depth and good open interest. So once we actually do that, we can hit scan here and that will populate a list of anything that we might want to dig into more. Now, again, this is just the starting point for analyzing trades a little bit more. You can see from our watch list, which is a little over 100 securities that we kind of trade on average, 24 of them are showing uh, to meet these criteria right now. Okay, so these are going to be the ones that have a lot of volume today for sure and uh, pretty good open interest. Now, again, we are showing the actual ticker symbol, so you can dig into those individual contracts in those months and see what you want to trade, right? This is the easiest way to show it is actually show by stock. You can you can actually show by individual options themselves. Uh, so if you go ahead and say, okay, show me by options, you can see exactly which individual options have those criteria. So in this case, the April 50 calls in AAL, that's the ticker symbol and the actual option code for AAL. Uh, but you scroll down, you got BA, you got Costco, the Q's, JP Morgan, MU, Spies, the Weeklies, etc. So this is a, another way to kind of dig into the actual option contracts themselves. If you do options and stocks, uh, that will just break it out by the actual ticker, right? So it'll say, hey, this stock and this particular option, this stock and this option, this stock and this option, right? So a lot of different ways you can use the option hacker in here. Again, for us, it's mainly just a basis for starting the process of looking for things. You can use a bunch of different tools. We built our own at Option Alpha, which is our watch list that we mainly use along with our backtesting software. But if you wanted to go in here and start digging around, um, this might be at least a good starting point for you guys to start with. So again, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or feedback, I'd love to know. If you enjoy this video, please consider sharing it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.